Well, good afternoon. Happy to have you here. Uh, this is Marty Mangello at the Inn of the Patriots and the United States Presidential Service Center. And I'm very excited to make this announcement today about the brand new ladies painting that has arrived here of the American hero, Mary Patton. And this is the famous painting that has been worked on for almost two and a half years now of Mary Patton, uh, who lived here in North Carolina and helped during the Revolutionary War, uh, which later would become called, in the part of North Carolina she lived in, is now today called the Tennessee. And this is the painting that has been uh, researched forensically and worked on with the uh, Patton family and their descendants today, and painted by Mr. Jeff Trexler of Pennsylvania. And as part of our interest in the Schaefer Gallery of Heroes, we have worked on these paintings for the better part of 11 years now, illuminating for the first time in the United States history, uh, people from around here uh, who helped during the American Revolutionary War and uh, made it possible to win the battles of Kings Mountain and Cowpens, but as well as Blackstocks and several other pivotal battles like Guilford Courthouse that ultimately led to the United States becoming free and the creation of the United Colonies. So uh, this has been a long road for us and a long path. And uh, many people, of course, often ask, you know, what does modern day history have anything to do with uh, what's going on in the economy and the world today and uh, old history because there is no connection they sometimes say and it's inappropriate conduct to bring things up that are occurring in uh, today's world uh, for instance and trying to link them uh, with the past because there are no lessons to learn from the past uh, is often the argument the past is just the past and so uh, we often disagree with that here and are over 8,000 members of the American Revolutionary War Living History Center and uh, are over 15,000 fans um, here at the Inn of the Patriots uh, as well as 1.3 million readers for our newsletters and blogs um, seem to uh, think otherwise. And so uh, with that, I would like to say that uh, several years ago, my wife Stormy and I decided that we were really going to start to focus on ladies and uh, the more obscure people of the war. And our first painting, honestly, was um, from our own family, uh, which built the house that the Inn of the Patriots is in, in Grover, North Carolina here, and where I'm sitting, actually, today. And uh, that was of Colonel Frederick Hambright. And then we decided his friend... Uh, Colonel Benjamin Cleveland, that we would do him, and they sit here in the Schaefer Gallery, named after my family, who moves to this territory called Carolina in 1709. And then uh, we also decided that we were going to do one of the Catawba Indians here, and so Captain Redhead is here. These are all the first paintings in the history of the world that have ever been done of these people. But you will also find Colonel Andrew Hampton, uh, as was recommended. Um, he is from the county next to us called Rutherford County. This was recommended by Mr. Joe Epley, the famous historian and writer and advertising magician from uh, Charlotte. And Joe uh, also, by the way, invented Carowinds, the name for his friend who owned the theme park uh, where my wife Stormy worked after high school and in summers. And uh, we also did the first African-American hero, Ishmael Titus. So we uh, decided that, that that was enough with men, um, going back to about 2015, and with our planning, that we were going to start to focus on ladies and uh, their contributions to the earth, which have often been the most unnoted and unrecognized group of all of the groups uh, in the human race's history, uh, often, I have always felt myself as a man, the most denigrated um, are not blacks or slaves or Greek slaves or white slaves 
um, or other groups of people, which the list would be long of people that have been put down. Um, but honestly, women, I think, um, quite frankly, have been put down for probably tens of thousands of years. Uh, so uh, actually in uh, December of 2016, my wife and I worked on releasing a brand new Jackie exhibit in conjunction with uh, Fox Searchlight Pictures. Uh, we were invited to come to Fox Television and to their studios and to film live on the day of release for the brand new film called Jackie. And I was very lucky to be featured with Natalie Portman in that uh, live filming. And uh, um, that, that whole exhibit that is on display here at the Presidential Center, which is inside the, the Inn of the Patriots, that whole exhibit is actually done very well and helped us to get into the top 3% of hotels in the world. So uh, we've been super happy and super proud about Jackie. And really a lot of the Jackie exhibit um, focuses on uh, what a woman should say or not say, or you know when a woman shouldn't talk out loud, and uh, many aspects of a woman's place and things that regrettably throughout time and history on earth we have been taught. And uh, just correcting those and saying that as a man, uh, no, we don't endorse that. Uh, we don't want that, okay? We want women to be our equals. And, you know, as far as pay in society, that women uh, should earn the same amount of money that men do. And uh, in February of uh, 2017, my wife and I went to work and helped raise $567,000 in one night for a nonprofit called Cystic Fibrosis. And I was a guest speaker for that event. So we've been very busy uh, helping others and uh, we do finance all of these paintings um, every year for 11 years now. So we don't seek donations or, or peddle to people or pump them or mail them or call them or robocall anybody. Uh, we just felt like these are very important things to do. And uh, April 4th of 2017, I published an article myself called Filth, Raunch, and Sex at Work. And uh, this article um, is on my LinkedIn page, on the front page. And uh, this was way, way before the Time's Up movement and anything to do with Time's Up which the, this is quite a historic day for this painting to show up here from Jeff Trexler today. Today is the one year report uh, going back to January 1st of 2018 from Time's Up and the uh, legal defense fund for Time's Up. And they have been very proud to announce today that more than 21,000 people from around the world have contributed more than $22 million. And I have been a contributor myself several times to Time's Up. And uh, the desire has been to connect women and men who experience workplace sexual harassment and retaliation with attorneys and in some cases media specialists. And it's the largest amount of money that's ever been raised uh, on the crowdfunding website, GoFundMe. And since then, the Time's Up Legal Defense Fund, administered by the prestigious National Women's Law Center Fund, uh, LLC, has responded to more than 3,700 workers in just that year, overwhelmingly women across a myriad of industries and connected them to attorneys for a free initial consultation. More than 790 attorneys have joined the network and 75 cases have been funded totaling a commitment of more than $5 million. And from paramedics in Chicago to McDonald's workers in nine states, the donations for Time's Up have made all of this possible. And today they have issued their first annual report today. So of all days for this fund and this movement about women um, to announce that they have their final report ready and for the Mary Patton painting to show up here today, uh, we are extremely proud to advance the role of women and recognizing women um, in the United States history and Mary certainly is going to help us do that because our very next painting has already been announced a year ago, is of a 17-year-old girl who lives around here. And she is going to be our next painting that we work on into the year of 2021. 
So uh, Mary McKee and Patton was a pioneer gunpowder manufacturer and born in England in 1751 and emigrated here to the United States and uh, has become very famous but often not recognized enough for her donation of 500 pounds of black powder to the Battle of Kings Mountain. And today we are super proud to recognize Mary and to see her for the first time in history, uh, forensically rebuilt with massive, massive help from Teresa McKee and Phelps in Tennessee. Uh, she is the current patriarch of the family. And so super proud. Thank you for Teresa for all of your work. And thank you for helping us to recognize women from the Revolutionary War to today, because this has been a huge goal for us. Thank you to everybody.